<laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome to Monday and welcome to Better Connecticut on this Monday afternoon, the first Monday we've had in December. I We're I so left festive. It, I left and it was Thanksgiving. I came back and the whole set is decorated. Yes, uh, welcome back. Thank We're, you so much. After uh, you look like you got a little tan I from got, being in the sunshine little, state. I, I did the best that I could with the sunscreen, but yeah. you know, you're going to get some color no matter what you do there. So it was really beautiful. The, the weather was a little cool Wednesday. When I got there, it was like 60 degrees and people were like, oh my God, it's freezing. And I'm like, no, it's beautiful. And then it got warmer and warmer. And so uh, anyway, it was fun. Thank you for taking care of my cat and for breaking into my house last night. <laughs> I appreciate that. Kara <laughs> came. You texted me and said, could you feed the cat Saturday and Sunday? So I went over last night, but apparently you were home, asleep, and the alarm went off, which you never... Well. Kara was breaking and entering into my house, and I was like, hello? She's like, Scott, it's Kara. And I'm like, oh, thank God, it's you. <laughs> I said, I'm here to feed the cat. And you said, I fed the cat, and the cat's in bed with me. I'm like, all right, well, then I don't know why I'm here in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way we are. That's the way we roll. All right, well, the nation is honoring President George H.W. Bush after his passing Friday at the age of 94. 94. God bless, right? And yeah, absolutely, God bless him. And he had said that, you know, he loved to skydive. He had said that he would, he skydived on his 90th birthday, and he planned to skydive again on his 95th birthday had he made it. But his, um, within the hour, his body is going to be leaving Texas aboard Air Force One, and then will be taken to Washington, D.C. for a special arrival ceremony that involves uh, all of Congress. I want to see the picture of your dad with uh with Mr. Bush. Oh, yeah. President well, there's, Bush. there's some great pictures going on, um, which I think we have that one coming up, but also the president's last words. Oh, here he is. That's your father That's and the president father. of the United States. Yes, yes. That's so cool. And I'm not sure exactly why they were shaking hands there, but it was a turning time when my father was in office um, in Rhode Island. And I know that he had great respect for President Bush. So a little special photo that we That's got. really, yeah. really very cool. Yeah, really nice. Mm. Really nice. You know, and the president's last words, this kind of brings a tear to your eyes. They say his last words were, I love you too, spoken to his son, George W., on Friday. So they got to say goodbye. And that was the last words he ever said, I love you too. I think it's kind of, you know, he, he, he didn't suffer too long. Long, and mm. uh, you know now he's with his wife with and his their wife and, uh, and, their, and daughter, their daughter who died past when she was, was only three, three years, years old. old but yeah. uh, so and then this is a really cool poster picture rather as well. Um, Jim McGrath, who is the spokesperson, he's been posting all these amazing pictures. But it says mission complete, and that's his service dog. I love this picture. This just makes my heart go pitter patter. I mean, really, look at that. Look at how adorable that is, and 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 poignant and and just uh, really says a lot there, right there. So it's God nice to see people soul. coming together and just the humanity of here's mm -hmm. this man who served our country and everyone honoring him because it's been so divisive. So I think the commentary about him has been really nice to see from both sides. Well, somebody from my youth, uh, I don't know if you remember him, Ken Barry, he died this uh, this past, oh. uh, just, yeah, isn't that sad? Uh, 85 years old, of course. I remember him from the Carol Burnett show, uh, but uh, he went on to be, on, he was in the Brady Bunch and F Troop and uh, just a bunch of great shows. The Brady Bunch, of course, Mama's Family, which ran from 90, uh, 1983 to 1990. Um, he, uh, the Andy Griffith Show, Mayberry RFD. I mean, we're going back, but he was 85 and he died at, uh, at, at, the, at Joseph Medical Center in Burbank, California. Aww. So, yeah, nice guy. And some Hollywood news that's making uh, with the younger set, it's official now, singer Nick Jonas who I know you got to interview, and actress Priyanka Chopra. They were married this weekend. One was a Christian service and one was a Hindu ceremony. They did it both ways to honor both of their upbringings. And she's 36 and he's 26. She's mm. beautiful. But anyway, look at this. Isn't this amazing? Look at these fireworks It was at just their like wedding. your wedding. I remember this yeah, at your I, wedding. I didn't... I missed the fireworks at my wedding. And it was a huge <laughs> whoops in Hawaii after a preschool classroom assistant mistakenly gave the little ones pine salt. Pine salt instead of apple juice. They poured the pine oh. salt in the cups. Now, I don't think anyone was hurt and they were able to figure it out, but whoops. Another whoopsies. A man proposed to marriage to his girlfriend in New York City and the ring dropped in the grate. I think she had it for like seven minutes. And it went down a sewer grate in New York City. They tried to get it out, and then oh, they no. left, and it was a kind of a crazy story, but they never gave the police officers their name. They flew back to England, and then the police officers did find the ring. They put out a big social media campaign to find the couple. They found them. They're going to get the ring back, and everybody's happy. And but, meanwhile, he so didn't think that they'd ever find the ring, he'd already bought a new one in London before they got down. <laughs> like, he got off the plane and went to the jeweler. Does she get to choose now? All right. All right, yeah, exactly.